The Eradication of Polio, an epic in four acts. A large global project which has mobilized hundreds of thousands of people at the scale of a century with extraordinary personalities. A real ancient epic. Act 1, 1950 to 1980. Vaccines and their inventors. Poliomyelitis is a disease described since 1840, whose virus was discovered in 1908 by Landsteiner. It is primarily a gastroenteritis which can be complicated by paralysis and which is met in poor sanitary conditions. By the early 1900s, the number of cases is staggering. Panic strikes in the 1950s. In the USA, in 1952, it spreads to 57,000 people, primarily children. From 1930, the need to find a vaccine is urgent, with two possible approaches, live or inactivated. Jonas Salk, a university researcher, is the first to develop a vaccine containing the three IPV polio serotypes. It is an inactivated vaccine, inactivated polio vaccine for IPV and therefore contains infectious agents that have been killed. They are completely harmless, but still capable of triggering an immune response. This vaccine is produced via a cultural medium invented by the Connaught Pharmaceutical Company. The vaccine regimen consists of three injections. In April 1955, the largest clinical efficacy trial ever conducted is organised in the USA, with close to two million subjects. It's the Thomas Francis trial. The vaccine is acknowledged safe and effective. Salk becomes immediately a star. Confronted with the crisis, the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, registers the IPV in a matter of days. Soon afterwards, a vaccine production defect causes more than 200,000 contaminations. This is the Cutter incident named after the involved company. Vaccination is interrupted and the IPV's image is tainted. In parallel, Albert Sabin, a leading American physician and researcher, develops an oral vaccine that only needs to be taken once. The OPV for oral polio vaccine. It is a live vaccine which is capable of replicating itself and whose pathogenic potency is attenuated and does not cause the disease. It produces a local immune response in the mucous membranes of the gut. During several weeks after vaccination, and once excreted, it can disseminate itself in populations with poor hygiene conditions. At the time, this indirect immunization of unvaccinated individuals is seen as an advantage. The OPV claims to be more effective, more easily administered and safer. Sabin, in order to demonstrate the efficacy of his vaccine, reaches an agreement with the USSR in the middle of the Cold War, involving the highest levels of the Politburo. The OPV is thus developed in the Soviet Union before being used in the USA. The FDA registers the monovalent version in 1961, and the trivalent version in 1963. It should be noted that as early as 1963, the first case of VAPP paralysis associated with OPV vaccines is described. OPV replaces IPV for a long period of time, but its efficacy is not documented in tropical environments. Going forward, it is used exclusively in the USA and nearly everywhere else. Only five countries still remain with IPV, mostly in Scandinavia. However, Jonas Salk has not had his last word. Confronted with the weaknesses of the OPV, he carries out work with Hans Cohen and Charles Merrier to confront IPV immense challenges, which are to demonstrate its immunogenicity and efficacy in developed countries and in tropical environments to scale up production having in mind mass production and affordability, 
to standardize its potency tests, to obtain the marketing license. Among these men, the roles are clear. Jonas Salk is the science provider. Hans Cohen provides a part of the technological solution for mass production with micro beads carrier. Meanwhile, Charles Merrier brings the vision and the means of the Institut Merrier, Merrier Institute, to address these challenges. The formula 40, 80 and 32 of the new IPV vaccine demonstrates its effectiveness in a trial in Senegal. 89% protection is observed after two doses. This formula is still the current formulation of all existing IPVs. By the 1980s, polio has disappeared from almost all developed countries and mankind has inherited two different vaccines, IPV and OPV. This first act provides major vaccination advances, but much remains to be done for developing countries.